In a January 3rd, 2019, first of the year uh, article on Farm Doc Daily, we looked at the geography of high yields in corns over the past several years. The U.S. has had very good yields since 2012. In fact, each year since 2012, the U.S. corn yield has been above trend, and it has been significantly above trend in recent years. For example, in 2018, the USDA is reporting the average corn yield in the United States at 178.9 bushels per acre. We would calculate the trend yield in that year as 169.3, and our actual yield is 9.6 bushels above that trend. The trend yield is a calculated based on previous year's yields from the past 40 years, and then we look at the calculated trend yield for that year. For example, that 169.3 bushels for 2018 would be the expected yield for that year. Before we know anything about growing conditions, we would say that 169.3 would be a good expectation of yield for that year, given, given previous history of yields. And again, since 2013, we have been above that uh, trend yield, and substantially so in recent years, but that really isn't that unusual. Since 1995, we spent most years above trend. There's been several that haven't, with the most notable being 2012, and corn yields in the United States are characterized generally by having above trend yields in most years, but when those are below trend yields, we can have them significantly below trends. And again, 2012, the drought year is a good example for that. In that year, we had a trend yield of 158 bushels per acre. We actually had a yield of 123, which is 35 bushels below the trend. Again, in the past several years, we've been above trend. Since 2013 to 2018, we've averaged 8.2 bushels above trend. However, when we look at that across the United States, not all states have had the same experience, and some states have been very much above trend in the past several years. Um, those states tend to be east of the Mississippi in the middle part of the state, or in the middle part of the United States, and we have a stretch of states from Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee on the east, all the way over to Delaware in the east, um, which have had exceptionally good yields. Our highest yield actually happened in Alabama, and that, and that state had an average of 27 bushels above trend from 2013 to 2018. There have been some states that have been below trend, and most of those have been east, or excuse me, west of the Mississippi River. California, minus 18 bushels below trend. Uh, Colorado, minus 11, and Washington, 10, as well as Oklahoma and Kansas. Um, the implication of having these above-trend yields, particularly east of the Mississippi, is that uh, they've very much helped in having higher or raising incomes in those years. And in some sense, we may have been become counting on those above-trend yields. Um, whether or not they will continue in the future is a good question, and time will tell that. Also, it sort of will be interesting to see if it's weather that's caused those variability or, or above average yields east of Mississippi or something else. Again, further analysis of this looking and controlling for weather would be useful in answering that question. Again, for farmers in Illinois and some of the other states where we've had substantially above trend yields, uh, counting on those may not be the best um, best thing to 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 uh, do um, as we're moving forward. A little bit more information on that geography is available in a January third, twenty nineteen Farm Doc Daily article.